had a request to do a short video on how to use the moisture pins that comes with the L200. There's two different pins that you get. You get the uninsulated pins and you get the insulated pins. Normally with the L200 unit, they ship with the uninsulated pins. The difference between the two, the insulated ones will obviously just measure the moisture uh, content between the two pins that you put in uh, at the depth that it's in while the uninsulated one will give you an average reading now for hardwoods you can use the uninsulated uh, one for softwoods you can use the insulated one the reason for that uh, with the hardwoods you dry it so long uh, your average moisture content evens out fairly evenly as opposed to softwood where normally there is still a, a bit of a moisture gradient from the inside to the outside also the guys that when you sell softwood you uh, will measure it with a moisture pin at a specific depth to see what the moisture content is all right so when you put the pins into the timber uh, you normally don't put it closer than about a foot and a half from the end of the board otherwise your reading will be on the on the low side so you go in about a, a foot and a half or 50 centimeters from the end of the board and then you would put the pins more or less in the middle of the board and the distance between the pins is, is 30 millimeters or one and three sixteenths. So I'd like to just measure it normally. Uh, measure and mark it. You got one and three sixteenths. And I have a three sixteenths drill bit, especially for the, for the insulated pins so that uh, the, the insulation part doesn't move out when you, when you, when you screw it in. So I just go about halfway into the board. These are um, two by eight inch spruce fir boards that we got from a client of ours. And I'll be just screwing these little puppies in all the way until it is halfway into the board. And these are, these are one inch long, so it's actually the right length for this thickness board. So normally when you put these pins in, it's always better to put it in a few layers down into the stack, not on the top layer. Because your top layer will normally always be a slightly drier than the rest. So um, for the exercise, I just did it on the top one because it's easier. But the second set of pins, I'll be doing uh, four layers down. Uh, it will give us a, probably a more accurate reading of what's happening inside the stack. If you can, if you could, while you were busy stacking it, even be better if you added one or two boards into the stack it will give you an even better average reading thank you for joining please keep your questions coming till next time saw straight and try flat